What's up guys and welcome back to Mr. Survival. In this episode, well in the, in the, um, the last episode, I promised you guys I would build a hopper. And then I went on the uh, Minecraft Wikipedia page and I'm like, oh, well actually, hoppers seem to be quite boring. And at the time I couldn't really think of anything cool to build with the hopper. Oh, by the way, uh, it's, uh, there's a massive, massive storm going on. If I go into the uh, non-desert biome, it's pouring and the weather sucks. But that's one of the perks of being in a desert biome. No crappy weather, except the occasional lightning strike, as you have to see in there. Anyway, so I'm, as I'm saying, hoppers. At the time, I'm like, hoppers look like crap. I couldn't think of anything cool to do with hoppers. Um, like, on the contrary, with the daylight detectors, I had some pretty cool stuff in mind, like uh, lamps. Or, for example, I could have a system that locks down the, uh, let's say, the compound at night you know, with daylight detectors and pistons closing doors and such. Anyway, that's uh, maybe some pretty cool little future project to do. But let's say hoppers. At the time, I couldn't think of anything cool to do with them, but now, after I've seen uh, actually one of Daryl's little creations in a uh, different particular world, He's giving me some pretty cool ideas. So let's take a, a bunch of this coal. What is this? Magma cream. What are you doing here, zombie? He's gonna come and dis disturb the village. Get out of here. Get out of here, you bastard. Filthy bastard as well. But he hasn't showered in weeks. Let's light up this place a bit more. Right, so. Uh, as I was saying, a cool idea with hoppers. Uh, I, I gotta give Daryl credit, and um, if you ask him, he's probably gonna give someone else credit, because he's probably not thought of it himself. He's probably found this idea somewhere else. In all fairness, I mean, you don't have to come up with everything yourself. But anyway, a cool thing, we're gonna need a, a bunch of iron, uh, not, not, not nether quartz, iron, and we need a couple chests, and I'm, I'm looking for a bit more wood, because I know we'll need a bit more... Uh, wood I think. Let's just take like a couple um, logs that we can just quickly turn into planks. This little thing with hoppers, it can be used to suck things in and out of containers such as chests and things and in this case also furnaces. So there's a pretty cool thing we can do. We can make an automatic furnace so to speak. And in this case, it's going to be one furnace. I think we'll need. Uh, I think we'll need one more chest. Or let's make an extra chest just in case. We can make some double chests. Double chest, single chest, double chest. So that's five. Correct. And I think we'll need um, one more chest for each hopper. So that's three more chests. We're going to make three hoppers. And one, two, three, four, five. I have one. Why? Okay, there's two, uh, and wood has run out. Give me more of the logarithms. And there, one more chest. There, three chests there. And then to make, all right, let me just do this again. Give me, give me the irons. I think in a V shape like this with a chest in the middle gives you a hopper. So we'll make two more. There we go. We got three item hoppers right now. Three item hoppers. Five chests, a furnace, and uh, we'll use a bit of dirt as the random, uh, the item of random choice. And this should give us a, a pretty cool system. If um, I haven't seen it in action, I've actually just seen the thing, and right away I'd be like, oh, that's what it is. It's going to be an automatic smooth stone maker. We just dump a bunch of cobblestone in one chest. We'll dump a bunch of uh, coal in another. And it'll go to work and give us a bunch of smooth stone. So let me just you know, try it out. Apparently if you, if you face it this way... Alright, so that's facing down. The hopper's facing down. But if I put the hopper on the block, it's going to face towards that block. So these are all things that we have to know to get it to work properly and clean up the dirt. I'm having a little itchy nose. Every once in a while I have to just scratch that out of pure necessity. Alright, where am I going to build this 
monstrous contraption. It's it's like four freaking blocks tall or whatever. So it's not really monstrous at all. I'm going to build it right here. Um, I'm going to encase it. You know, I'm, I'm going to go towards the uh, mine shaft here and build it just around here somewhere. Just around here somewhere. So, what, it, what we have here, what we'll need is uh, this is a double chest that will house um, you know, where the items get pumped into. So, it'll have a uh, hopper like this, and items will come out and go into the chest. So, the way you can actually demonstrate it is you can actually just toss an item into the hopper, it'll go into the chest. So, if I That one just got pushed into the chest as well. I gotta deal with these bastards. Come on, come on, come on. Kill. Another one. So hard to deal with these stones because they have knockback on all their freaking shots. It's really annoying. And the closer you get, the faster they're gonna shoot. It's gonna have all these crazy mechanics. Anyway, so as you've just seen, anything that falls into this hopper will get pushed into this chest. So I just drop a bunch of dirt next to it apparently into this hopper. That will all get put in the chest, or mostly anyway. So that's the main idea here. Um, the cool part is we'll, we'll put a furnace on top of this hopper and basically everything that's done cooking will get put into, uh, get sucked out of the furnace put into the chest. So this is the output chest. We're going to work a bit backwards actually. Then there's going to be this hopper here, which is pointing to inside this chest. Hold on, there's a zombie with us. Is that an iron sword you're holding? Does that mean I get the iron sword from you when you die? No, no iron sword from him. So, yep, yeah, hopper to put into the side of the chest. That one is going to have on top of it the chest where we put in the coal. So if I put a bit of coal in there right now, there we go. It's gotten sucked out through the hopper, and it's now in the bottom of the furnace. So that part of the mechanic is working. Now, I'm going to get rid of this dirt. It doesn't need to be here. And now we need the uh, actual input to go into the furnace. It's going to be another hopper. It's just not going to interact with this chest right here. And then what we'll do is it will make a double chest up here is where we put in the cobblestone. And that will get, you know, sunken into the actual furnace over here. So let's grab several stacks of either material. So we'll grab several stacks of cobblestone. Um, and we'll make a bunch of really cool uh, smooth stone bricks or whatever. We can use that. So we'll put in a full stack of, well, how many, how many stacks do I have? Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight stacks, so that should be about one stack of coal. And there we go, it's already going. Look, and it's getting filled up. They're both getting filled up. And when it's done, yeah, it's actually getting pulled straight out, and boom, smooth stones in the bottom. So there it is. Finally, an automatic smelting machine. And we can also make it so that you put a bunch of, you know, iron and st or coal in there, and you just put your blocks of iron in there. But it's still you still need to have it properly proportioned. So I'm putting eight full stacks, and I know that's then one full stack of charcoal. Now that the the whole full stack of charcoal is actually gone in here, but in every every stack of cobblestone that I put in here, I can just put eight more of these guys in here. Now they won't all fit in here because that's actually full now. You can see, but they're not in the chest anymore. They're actually just sitting in the hopper. The hopper is like a little buffer. See in these. This getting filled up. So this this item in the in the furnace is full, the upper slot, but the hopper still getting filled up, still draining items from this chest. And then for each one of them that's done, it gets sucked out through this hopper and into this chest. So we'll come back after a while and find that we have a couple of stacks of smooth stone. And maybe with that smooth stone we can build a nice wall around our uh, perimeter. That's pretty cool. All right, and there's one more thing we can do with hoppers. Is if we wanted to, we could turn it off with a lever. Like I don't know 
why we'd want to do that at the moment. But if you put a lever on a hopper, basically if you give a hopper a redstone signal, it stops items from flowing. So you could turn parts of this mechanic on or off. I don't know why you want to though, but I guess you could have a button on the on the coal hopper, so you could just push the button once and it send one coal into there every time if you wanted if you wanted to let's say you put like a whole stack of iron and that's full of coal, but you don't want the coal to keep on going in. You just like all right, put one stack of iron, push the button, and one one single coal one in there, and you push it seven more times for the whole stack of iron. That's a funny little mechanic. Anyway, guys, that's hoppers for you. Hoppers in a nutshell. Um, you can actually line a bunch of hoppers in a row. They'll feed into each other, so you have transport pipes in a sense, and they can feed into minecarts, and minecarts can feed into them. So a little bit of technic or tech it has made its way into vanilla Minecraft. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this episode of Mr. Survival, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Right, Daryl, we're here in our um, little community world, whatever, and this is your automated furnace design with hoppers. Correct. Let's, uh, let's see. So basically what uh, we got going up here is, uh, you know, they have the cobble at the top, yeah, that's Feeds the same as what I got. Yep, I copied your you design. Got. I copied basically this design, except my chest, my final chest is underneath this furnace. Okay. Yeah, I did. I did it on the side just to save space, vertical space. That is. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, could, what could you I, have done it the same way this way? Would it work as well if you fed cobblestone into the side as well? Yeah. Yeah, you can feed cobblestone on this side. I don't no. know what would happen if you did both at the same time. In the furnace, that would be an interesting. Yeah. Would the furnace automatically know what slot it would go in or not? Um, at the same time, if you had both at on this at the same time, you mean? Like, would it would it be like okay, lava or coal is a is a fuel? It'll automatically put it in the bottom and. Oh yeah, on, if it's on the side, it will. Yeah. Okay, sure. so it's better than the, the cobblestone comes in from the top. And yeah. yeah. If, Hello. If you, if you switch it up, if you switch it up, then it just won't work. Okay. Pretty okay. much. Um, so same so, as my design, fuel on the side here, uh, smoke you look, on the you top. You can look inside the hopper too. You know? Oh yeah, there's a lot of buckets there. Yeah. And they'll get flushed so the down buckets, here as well. There's yeah. empty buckets here. The, the empty bucket, yep, you'll see the first one right down there. And so basically I was using uh, buckets of lava to smelt stone. And I noticed that I can do more than 64 stone on a bucket of lava, but I don't have the time to stand around by my furnaces and keep feeding and put, it again. Keep, keep feeding it in stone. So I was like, "What can I do?" So I was like, "Well, hoppers are in the game now, so let's let's try to do something with that." So I came up with this design, and later on, I got onto the the Minecraft wiki and found out that they had done the same thing. So I'm not the first one to come up with it, but it is my original idea. You came up with it independently of other people. Exactly. That's pretty so, cool, man. And so this basically solves a problem of, uh, you know, not getting your bang for your buck for the... Yeah, it's just basically keep fuel. feeding in stuff. Like, That's right. Like, you could even just have the system of a chest of uh, cobblestone feeding into a furnace, and that's it. Oh, you need an output. You need an output as well. But yeah, the, fuel, yeah. the fuel input, you can just put one bucket of lava in manually. That's true. You can. If you have a limited amount of stuff to smelt, you know, or, or a limited amount of uh, storage space. Yeah. But you could even have a whole series of chests with hoppers in between, like, stacked up incredibly high. So you oh, could yeah, fill those could. chests up with a ton of cobble. Yeah, you could actually, and same with the, with the fuel here. You can actually have hoppers on top of these chests, feeding these chests. You can, you can chests. stack them up sky high. Yeah, yeah it's in, you can go infinite with this. You can have well, one... Oh yeah, oh yeah, you're right. You can go even because you can go it sideways as well. Yeah, you can go sideways. It's nuts. Yeah. With a single furnace, <laughs> that's pretty nuts. <laughs> yeah, you could have it going. It's kind of a bottleneck. Game. It is kind of a bottleneck. So, so yeah, a hopper is basically it. a tube to transport. Yeah. Well, yeah. what hoppers? What they do is they suck from the top, and they output to the little bit that you know, that sticks out on the thing here. So in this particular one in front of me, it outputs mm -hmm. to the left. It depends on how you place them when you when you place okay. them. And then this one on top of here outputs 
to the bottom, so into the furnace as, as well. And then okay. this one on the bottom of the furnace outputs to the right, which is into this chest. What you yeah. have to do is you have to, um, when you're placing it, you have to click the block that it's feeding to. And if the block that you're clicking is a chest, you have to press shift. Or a furnace as and, well. Yeah, exactly, furnace as well. So in this case, every click has to be shift clicked. Okay. Yeah, because it's on the chests and furnaces and everything, so. Yeah. Unl yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless, unless you put a dirt you block first, first and then yeah, remove exactly, it yeah. and put a chest in. No, but I'm so going to I'm going to stick this on the end of the video where I built it, and then it's pretty much shift clicking all the way. Okay, wait, I have a question. Yeah. You know your theory of how you can make someone starve to death with a lot of food in their hand is if you're surround put them in a room surrounded by chests, but can you then now eat? While shift clicking? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Face the chest and try to eat some food. No. You can't eat it. Nope. Yeah. Natalie's referencing so. something I I I I, uh, refer <laughs> I talked about earlier a long time ago. Actually, you could give someone a full item bar of food, but put him in a in a space that's completely surrounded by chests or crafting tables or whatever, and they couldn't right click to eat that food, so they would starve to death. <laughs> Depends on what difficulty they're on, because you might only go down to half health. Well, they would starve. They would starve. They wouldn't, they wouldn't starve to death, but they would starve. Okay, yeah, they would starve. Yeah. Anyway, this has been a pretty cool design, Daryl. Thanks for showing us. Yeah, no problem. And uh, thanks for not trying to copyright or everything, because I'm using pretty much <laughs> the exact design in my uh, Mr. Survival. All right, see you guys later. See you guys later. Yeah.